going on guys so I had a quick message and um, this message I guess you could say really disturbed me because um, <clears throat> because um, um, as I said in my last video that something is coming something is coming that maybe people just want to follow and just want to roll through with it and just let things flow but you know what um, it does have something to do with the political parties and, and the government and so on and so forth and um, and so um, this is my message um, my, my message is, is listen we need to stop dividing each other based on our political um, our political parties like our political views um, one side is what Democrat the other side is Republican listen I really don't care about what party is what but I really wish that America would be united and led by Jesus Christ by the teachings of Jesus Christ and by the principles of Jesus Christ so I mean honestly I'm sick and tired of this with Democrat Democrat and Republican bashing honestly honestly like me listen I don't I don't pay attention to um, politics that much but when I see someone bashing you know the left side or the right side or the middle side or whatever man whatever whenever I see that man whenever I see that I, I, I get disturbed because number one that so-called left side or Democratic side or the right side or the, you know the Republican side let me tell you something both sides are made out of people okay without people they wouldn't be any sides okay I want everyone to know that without people and those those people those people you're actually bashing those people you're bashing everything they represent they represent you know our, our government okay so basically you're bashing our government that's what you're doing all right um, and also sometimes you know people like to bash you know uh, let's just say someone's a Republican they like to bash someone who votes Republican all the time or someone who votes Democrat all the time they're like bashing them that creates division okay that creates division and it also creates um, slandering and also create bitterness you know it creates all that and the thing is is that like no one pays attention everyone thinks that this is just just a political game it's just a political game a game but the thing is is that people are really getting hurt over this you know if they're protesting something or if they're marching down the street and they're protesting this and protesting that people bash them people um, making fun of them and mock them and, and you know they sometimes throw things at them and spit at them and all this other crazy stuff man what the heck man that's hate right there that's hate and the thing is is that I'm gonna tell this right here right now if you hate the Democratic Party or the Republican Party or the Independent Party or the Tea Party or whatever party or whatever let me tell you something that says that you hate people yeah I said it that says that you hate people okay now what you need to do is hate their ideas okay listen to their ideas and not listen to their side or pay attention to their sides but listen to their ideas listen to what they're putting out and they say okay does that sound good does that sound like something I can roll with don't say well they're on the left side so I don't I'm not listening to them at all they're stupid they're dumb all of them every single one of them don't do that man that's that's just hate that's quarreling that's hostility that's what it is man don't do that and that actually divides people and you know what I really hate the way that it is man again I wish the United States was united under one under Jesus Christ under our Lord and this division has been building ever since you know ever since it's been created you know the left and the right and whatever you know it's been building over time it's been building over time and soon enough you're gonna have violence you're gonna have you know people going to head to head you're gonna have people who don't even know each other hating each other it's like their first time meeting and they're hating each other all because of political parties it's stupid it doesn't make any sense you know what and, and before I read this I want to read this before I read my Bible you know the thing is that Christians are doing this Christians are doing this they're picking sides they're picking this side or that side don't be ignorant pick the idea pick you know the the, the law or the bill 
don't pick the side and don't pick the side that's like you know that has you know all the good bills for you because maybe that other side may have one good bill for you you don't know that all right so just pick what's a good idea and again if you're a christian if i were you because god comes first and the kingdom comes first if i were you i would take those ideas that you're hearing from either side and i would try to like say hey um does this align with the word of god does this align with jesus principles does this align with his regulations does it align with his teachings that's always what you're supposed to do as a christian because you're giving your life to god right you're not giving your life to either side are you you're not giving your life to the government are you you're not giving your your life to you know congress are you no you're giving your life to god so if congress or one other side or whatever comes up with an idea then you need to say okay based on what jesus christ has taught me i need to know if this fits in my agenda for jesus christ that's what it is okay and if people want to say well jesus christ is old and jesus is just you know ancient and he's too old for you know to fit into like gun laws or 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 some other law that's like really up to date then just just pray on it pray on it all right just ask the holy spirit hey is do you think i should agree with this bill do you think that I should vote for this bill like my vote counts every vote counts okay we need to ask the Holy Spirit that now people they don't like doing that they just think it's political political let me tell you something if you got the freedom to say whatever you want to say and vote then don't you think you should have the freedom to ask the Holy Spirit if this is the right choice to go behind to support I mean that sounds pretty logical to me Remember, the Holy Spirit is leading you, right? No bill is leading you. No party is leading you. The left or the right side is not leading you. Look, even the president isn't really leading you. He's leading the country, but he's not leading you, okay? But the Holy Spirit is leading you, and he should He should lead you, okay? So, um, I'm going to read this real quick. This is Galatians chapter 5, okay? And we're supposed to live under the spirit of god okay as, as christians okay because um we're not supposed to be living under the spirit of of of, of politics okay you know, or the spirit of government okay because we all know that the antichrist is going to live under government okay we definitely know that you if you don't know you better read Re revelations 13 okay read revelations 13 it says that he's going to do all kinds of signs and all kinds of miracles and everything like that and um since he's going to do all kinds of signs and miracles that means people are going to be in awe they're going to just be like you know surprised and completely blown away um it says that he's going to rain fire from the sky and everyone in, around the world is going to be looking okay revelations 13 check that out and make sure you know your word because if you don't know your word, you won't understand revelations, okay? Um, so I'm going to read this. Uh, Paul is speaking. It says, it speaks about living by the Spirit, all right? Number 19, when you follow the desires of your sinful nature, the results are very clear. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, idolatry, idolatry. What the, that idolatry, sometimes you idolize one side or the other. You know, I idolize the left or the right. I think the left side is right. I think the right side is, is right. Idolizing a side, you know, idolizing a side, all right? And then uh, here we go. We got sorcery, hostility, being hostile towards one side or another. Why don't you be hostile towards the idea? rather than towards one side or the other because when you're hostile towards one side or the other one side or the other represents people okay that means you're hostile towards those people and you're mocking those people and you're slandering those people that's not godly at all okay all right so we got hostility 
quarreling, quarreling, jealousy, outburst of anger, selfish ambition, like it's all about me. It's all about my side, the left side or the right side. It's all about us. Dissension, division, division, division. All right. So division is a sinful nature. And anything that is sinful, that's basically the plan of the devil. That's basically, basically the plan of Satan. So if you're saying I'm on one side or the other side, you're basically falling into your sinful nature and you're basically making the devil smile because he's like, you know what? I'm so glad that you guys are divided because you guys ain't concentrating on God at all. I'm telling you. So if you're making the devil smile, what do you think God is feeling? He's feeling sorrow. Because you're dividing people. People want God wants people divided. I mean not divided, but he wants people united. God wants people united. He wants people united under him. Under under Jesus Christ. Under the Lord. He doesn't want people divided. Because if you're divided, that means you got differences and you guys are all quarreling with each other and, and just fighting all the time okay and and don't say this is uh, that don't say that all this political stuff is just for good fun no nah, man I, I i see what's happening i see what happens on the internet people get really harsh with one another and they slander obama they slander trump they slander hillary they slander this party or that party they slander the just all kinds of senators and congressmen and all this other crazy stuff and Nancy Pelosi, what's her name? Nancy Pelosi. It's just slandering people left and right. All right, we all know what that is. That's hostility, and that's not the way that a Christian rolls. You definitely know that. If you have the spirit of God living living within you, then you shouldn't be hostile. You shouldn't be slandering people. No one. I don't care what idea they come up with you can slander the idea and say hey that's a bad idea i don't like that idea that that idea doesn't line up with me that's fine but don't slander people and say look at look at her she's stupid she dumb she don't know what she's doing don't do that don't do that that's ignorant that's what the devil wants that's not what god wants all right let me continue on this because i'm just getting a little bit too much into this but here yeah, division Envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and other sins like these. Let me tell you again, as I have before, anyone that anyone that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of God. Okay? I'm gonna say this list again one more time. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, idolatry, sorcery, hostility, quarreling, jealousy. Outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and other sins like these. And that anyone living that sort of lifestyle, that sort of lifestyle, like this is my lifestyle every every four years. This is how I roll. This is how I do. I divide people and I want us to stay separate. I don't want the left to stay going on the right side. I don't want the right side going on the left. I don't want any unity. I want division. It says, will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's what it says. And then it goes on to 22. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and crucified them there. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Every part of our lives. That means political too. Okay, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Let us not become conceited or provoke one another or be jealous of one another. So stop provoking one side or the other, man. If you like someone's ideas on one side, or then, okay, you like their ideas, okay? But don't slander the other, the other side. 
that other side is made up of people okay don't do that okay all right remember you are a follower of Christ you're supposed to be living in the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is supposed to be leading you in every part of your life and that's what it is um, I I'm right now like listen like the only one that wants division that truly is happy about division is Satan okay and of course the Antichrist I mean I'm gonna tell you this right now that if you're creating some kind of division in in, in you know in government you know if you're down with division then that's what the Antichrist wants that's what he wants he wants division he wants to people to start you know just just separating people separating people in their households too so if he's separating people in their households like you going for left and you're going for, and they're going for right that's separation in the household that's what it is okay so you can't be like that that's not living in the spirit and you can't play this political game anymore like like you think that oh it's not gonna hurt anyone it's not gonna harm anyone you know what I mean like if your cousin is on the left side and you're on the right side what you what are you gonna do you gonna slander him because he's on the left side hmm? you're gonna slander him like oh what who you gonna vote for huh you know you gonna bother him about that come on man what are you doing you're creating division you're creating a, a hostile environment all right all right so that's all I want to say man I want to say listen you have a Christ-like mind let the Holy Spirit guide you fully stop letting the, the Holy stop abandoning abandoning the Holy Spirit when it's time to get political stop doing it really stop doing it that's that's ridiculous that's ridiculous let the Holy Spirit guide you to you know whatever is right all right Right? Let Jesus Christ guide you to whatever is right. Let his teachings guide you to whatever is right. Don't let man guide you to what is right. Let the Holy Spirit, okay? Because you don't want to be a, uh, what's it called? You don't want a man God guiding you. Uh, that's also known as a antichrist. A man that is trying to be like God, okay? So, um, but that's all I got to say, all right? Um, God first, kingdom first, Jesus first, and always follow the Holy Spirit throughout your life, all right? Throughout your whole life, every day, all day. I want to say I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. Um, whether you're just starting in, in, in reading your Bible, whether you're just starting in uh, your journey with God or whether you spent years and decades with the Lord um, I'm praying for you guys uh, keep alert because things are happening right about now and uh, and stay very awake and continue reading your Bible and praying praying to the Lord for clarity and for direction amen